little more than you take And if you try to fix more than you break If you're the kind who takes the time to help a stranger in the rain There's a place for people like you If you stand up for those down on their knees And lend a voice to those who cannot speak If you shine a little light, give sight to the ones who've lost their way There's a place for people like you I've heard up there the streets are made of gold And when you get there, there's a hand to hold When your day's down here through There's a place up there for people like you If you walk around with your heart on your sleeve Angel wing, Lord, 
Oh! 
Let us pray. Our oh, Father, who art in heaven. As we can sing, Lord, how oh, great thou art, because thou alone is God, and there is no other beside you. We thank you, Lord, this day that we can come in the present to celebrate the life of, of, of a brother. We don't know. He is out there like the casket. It could be any one of us. But I just pray that the rest of family, that they will take a leaf out of, his, out of his life. And I pray that when the saints go marching on, Brother Carr and those who we have worked with will be here the good voice, well done, good and faithful servant. This is my humble saying. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. Okay, I want you to pay a keen attention to the program. I noticed there's a little lengthy, and if you have to go too far, then I choose my method of stopping you. I want to welcome you all here this afternoon. God is good. Isn't that right? If you're glad that God has done something for you, has spared your life that you can, wave your hand and say, thank you, Jesus. You couldn't do it on your own. It is God who have done it. Isn't that right? So we're going to go with the program. I want you to follow keenly as we go. Um, we have first lesson. Charming Wallace, Ein's niece, selection. What's this word? How you pronounce it? Yash, Yashan, whatever, whatever. Kerr, granddaughter, followed by the second lesson. That will be done by Oliver Carr and Odina Carr, granddaughters. Come in that order. Thank you. A pleasant good afternoon to everyone. Turn up. Our afternoon's lesson is taken from Psalm 90, reading from 1 to 12. Can you all stand for the reading of God's word? Thank you. Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hadst formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. For a thousand years in the sight are but as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away as with a flood. They are as, as, they are as asleep, in the morning, they are like grass with which groweth up. In the morning, it flourisheth and groweth up. In the evening, it is cut down and withereth. For we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sin in the light of of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are three score years and ten, and if by reason or strength they be four score years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger? Even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. Twelve and last, so teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Hearing that a portion of God's holy word, we honor it by saying, thanks be to God.
رفتن اون لید زن بینت من Fourteen days ago We started this journey Wide eye in terrified But to get all in Now here we are The next chapter of our story Is about to begin We've been through it all Headaches and heartbreaks Fires and hurricanes Goodbyes upon goodbyes But there's just one thing left to say If it wasn't for the memories If it wasn't for the laughter And being easier to say goodbye But for one thing I miss most It's friendship that's so close Oh, it's not easy to say goodbye To say goodbye Fourteen days ago Good evening, everyone. I'll be reading the second lesson, which is taken from Ecclesiastics chapter 3, 1 to 14. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace. And a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. What profit hath he that worketh in that wherein he labored? I have seen the travail which God hath given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. He had made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that God make it from the beginning to the end. I know that there is no good in them but for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life, and also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of God. I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And God doeth that... And God doeth it that men should fear before him. 
here in the portions of God, holy word, we thank we honor it by saying thanks be to God. Never even realized me of Mike. Sport was a lively man. That's everybody know. So today, I don't want everybody to be quiet. Shout. The best is yet to come. When I heard of the death of my brother, my heart was broken in a million pieces. And the pain was unbearable. I am missing you so much already, sport. You had the heart of a lion. You never quit. You never give up. Life was hard on you, but you were hard right back. Given what you lived through, this is saying something mighty of your character. I watch you live your life Hold on. I watch you live your life through the good and bad times. You gave us hope that no matter what, we can always find a way. I know you are no longer in pain, sport, but I miss you and I will always will. Your life was a blessing and your memory was a treasure. The honor and respect you gave to our parents taught me so much. You made our life more fun and the love for your wife and children was the next level. You were so beloved, beloved by all who knew you. I remember the way you care for me, brother sport. Through tough times, it's the part I am going to miss the most. Our dear sister Lily could not be here today to celebrate your passing, as she is not doing too well. When we told her the bad news, she was so distressed and shaken. She wept and wept. Our family will never be the same without you, Spoke. She said, and she was right. Our brother may be gone, but he is Spirit lives on in the love he shares with others. We will remember his presence in our life to the end of our days. And may the memories bring comfort to us all during these difficult times. Rest peacefully, dear brother. Your laughter, your love, and your kindness will be deeply missed, but never forgotten. Rest in peace. In the bosom of our heart, where you shall forever, ever, ever reside. There are days I know when you get so discouraged, it seems like all hope is gone. But there's only one who can give you the courage and the strength to carry on. I share with you the will of God. The will of God will never take you where the grace of God will not keep you, where the arms of God will not support you. The will of God will never take you where the riches of God will not supply your needs, where the power of God will not endow you. The will of God will never take you where the Spirit of God will not work through you, where the wisdom of God will not teach you. The will of God will never take you where the army of God will not protect you, where the hands of God will not mold you. The will of God will never take you where the love of God will not unfold you, where the mercies of God will not sustain you. The will of God will never take you where the peace of God will not calm your fears, where the authority of God will not overrule you. 
the will of God will never take you where the comforts of God will not dry your tears, where the will of God will not feed you. The will of God will never take you where the miracle of God will not be done for you, where the omnipresence of God will not find you. Psalm 62 verse 5 says, My soul waits silently for God alone, for my expectation is from him. Never give up. Keep holding on. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Soon this life will all be over. At a pilgrim head we land. Soon we'll take our heavenly journey. Be at home again with friends. Heaven gate has standing open. Waiting for a entrance there. Some tweet there we are going over. All the beauty there to share. Just a little while to stay. Just a little while to wait. What a blessed, blessed morning That eternal morn shall be Just a little while to stay here Just a little while to wait Just a little while to labor In the path that always straight Just a little more of trouble In this low and sinful state time God I just reach in praise the Lord Jesus I just want to say a pleasant uh, good afternoon to you all praise the Lord praise the Lord somebody 
Shirley, on behalf of my pastor, Pastor Ruby Crawford, praise the Lord and the brethren and saints of the Summerton Bible Way International. Praise the Lord Jesus. And Shirley, on behalf of the Lawrence family, sport was no stranger. Praise the Lord Jesus. Sport was a family man. Praise the Lord Jesus. And this afternoon, on behalf of our own sister, Sister Carr, that is a part of us. We are here to celebrate his life. Can somebody worship Jesus? Kings of kings and Lord of lords. We're not here this afternoon to mourn. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord, somebody. We're not here to mourn. Shall we bless the Lord? Come quickly. There's another part of the praise team. Praise the Lord. Come quickly. Praise the Lord Jesus. God gave life, he takes it away, he is the potter and I am the clay, when I view Petiol shined up on you. God bless you and over to the moderator. In Jesus name. Bless the Lord. Come on, worship the name of Jesus with me. Come on, lift up, the, lift our hands to the heaven and say hallelujah. Come on, God is not dead. He's alive. Say hallelujah. Come on, one more time. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my 
soul and all that's within me. I will bless his holy name. Praise the name of Jesus. I'm just here to support um, Mother Car. I didn't know her husband, but I know, you know, that he was a loving person based on how she used to talk about him. Praise the name of Jesus. And so we're here to support him. Praise the name of Jesus. <coughs> I'm too near to my home, too near to my heavenly home. I can't go back again. I've made my choice. There is nothing worthwhile to look about now. Praise the Lord, sweet heaven in view. I'm too near. church <laughs> we're here to praise God today welcome everyone thank you thank you thank you when my way goes through precious Lord linger near I am tired 
sister children in England, Canada, and New York, they send greetings and well wishes on behalf of my brother's foot. They couldn't be here, and they just want for the best in Jesus' name. And then it can be, be me again. Thank you very much. You know, on behalf of the Welcome Seventh-day Adventist Church members and pastors and, and my family, I want to express our deepest condolences to the, the family. I, I must tell you that Sport was a good friend of mine, and I'm still struggling. I don't know why they call him Sport. I've never seen him playing football. I've never seen him playing cricket. I've never seen him playing domino. But they call him on Sport. I don't know why they call all right, get some facts. Give me my, give me my number. When we was small, Mr. Jolly had a land in front of my mom's house. They used to have fear over there by Jeff and Carly from Montego Bay Gully. Mama said we could not go over there at the dance. So while she's at the back of the house, Sport would go right there in the kitchen, and he, he, when Jeff start play wash wash, he would wash wash, wash wash, wash all my troubles away, and he would wash wash. And my uncle Ruben, who died, came out and said, "Mama Yula, the boy is just a sport." All right. So all of us know now why them call him Sport. But anyway, he, he, he was a good friend of mine, you know. Every time I passed the area to say, Brother Shippy, and I remember just the Saturday before he died, um, the spirit told me that I must go and look for him. And I went around there and I was observing him and I told him that based on how I see him looking, he should go to the doctor because he was a look, looking, looking a little fat or fatter. <laughs> And I told him that was Saturday. And Monday morning, I was washing my car on Chico. Anybody know Chico? 
Chico came and tell me, say, it's poor, dead. Me say, well, yes, man. I just talked to the man. Well, listen to me. Death is certain. And uh, uh, you might be here with us right now. In a little while, you're not here. We only can mention your name. But one thing I know about him, that while he, um, he was alive, he decided that he wanted to be a member of this church. And that's why we're having the funeral service here today. And by that time, he lost one of his legs. I remember when we got him baptized. It's the first time I'm seeing this. After he was baptized, the man went swimming. One leg. It's the first time you see a man with a one leg. A swim. And I tell you something. He had his challenges. Like we all do. Isn't that right? Yes. Point your finger. Anytime you point your finger at somebody, one is pointing back at you. So you might know something, and you believe because you know something, then something is wrong. Something is wrong with you also. So we pray and hope that he has made his decision. And the decision that he has made is to go all the way. And those who come to this church and become members, we look forward to the day when we'll meet around the throne. Isn't that right? Yeah. That's why we profess Christianity because we want to see Jesus. Isn't that right? And so it is not a mere form. I know as sure as the day of all of the night that there is going to be a resurrection. Hope that he's in the resurrection, the first resurrection. The Bible said, blessed and holy is he that art right. In the first resurrection. I hope he's in it. We move on with the program and we're going to move to the selection section now. I call all of them and you're coming that other family song, Canada tribute, USA tribute. Ireland, Kerr, Daughter, and Juta. Who do we have first? Family song. All right, so I'm going to ask the family members to come. Or if you can come here, just stand and sing with us. Children, grandchildren, auntie, uncle, sister, brother. I know we did not plan, but... You can just come. Praise God. And just sing with us. Amen. Praise God. Like a ship. Sailing out on a stream so rough and long, so far from shore, so far from home. Blessed 
rock of ages he speaks peace to my soul he holds me in his arms I'm so safe and so warm there I found shelter Ship of mine, the light of my Savior will lead me safely through the night. Though my ship may be rocking, and the sails may be torn. Ship of mine, the light of my Savior will lead me safely through the night. Though my ship may be rocking, and the sails may be torn. No matter what storm clouds may rock this ship of mine. Each time I'm trying to cry, I remember my father's word before he died. He said, Irelet, you need to let me go. And go on in full water, because you know that me always love to go full water. But 
If I could count all the tears that have fallen, it would seem like an ocean to me. And if my heart was a window you all could look through, Oh, the pain and scars you would see But tears will never stain the streets of that city No regret or death on my mansion's door The lost of my loved one The grave seem so final and cold But we'll meet again in a land where death has no victory Again. <laughs> 
Where death has no victory so much so much so much so many things you have learned some so many things but you're gonna know some more and somebody's gonna remind us Carol Clark brother good afternoon brothers and sisters this is uh, very sad afternoon. It might look good that we're all here, but it is sad because he's gone. But I want you to listen to me very carefully what I have to say. Because one thing to be sure, my brother that I follow, he was a fraidy, fraidy man. I can remember when we were much smaller growing up in this community. You could never get him go out at night. At six o'clock, he ran under Mama Fractail because he was so afraid at dark. I can remember when we were much smaller growing up. The only place we could go is out by Mr. Jolly Pieza, watching the elderly men playing dominoes. We want to play dominoes, but we couldn't play because we are little boys, so we'd have to sit there watching them picking up stones, giving them to Mark when they won the game. And if I could remember, a lot of these men, respectable men, we couldn't use a word like we hear some young men using today on the street before elderly people because we'll surely get a whipping and when we go home we're gonna get another one 
So that's where the respect comes when it comes to Mama Yula and us. I can remember growing up as a little red boy and I welcome. They called me all kind of name. Some said, Miss Yula Malata boy. Miss Yula white man. Dundos boy. I didn't worry about it. Here's the Dundos boy today. Miss Yula Malata boy is a pity she wasn't alive to see me. Because I know it would be a joy to see what I have for Malata boy. Anyhow, my brother, sport. I can remember when he stopped fading when we lost Uncle Bin. Sister Rit, you remember Uncle Bin? When he died in the bush out by temple. Uncle Bin always, when he give trouble, like him come, he said, Mama Yule, the one note, because him now says sport, he said note. And the other one then called me Naki. That is Maki. Mama always said, which one of them? Naki. Or not. <laughs> but through me so red, me easy to identify. So I'm not have a problem with that. But I don't could be in died. Sports stopped fading. Why? Because it was I and him went down into the bush to bring him out to the road. And that was the first time when we lift that dead man. I can remember Mas Connie. DC Connie. He was the one who went down in the bush with us when we found him dead in his ground. And sport and we went down there and lift him and bring him up. But he always said to me, brother, I always said daddy drinking rum and smoke. And he never do him anything. And I always said to him, listen to me, man. Foolishness here tell me. Rum and smoking is not good for you. You got to make a change in life. But he's still telling me the same thing over and over. When he met the accident and got that injury on the foot, he has it there going around because he's afraid to go to the doctor. And it become a problem for him and his wife. Sister Olive, I know you carry it a long way. In spite of all the circumstances, I tell you thanks for what you have done for my brother. As for me, God know why I leave the United States. I came home and I should be back with my wife and children. But my brother's situation, I couldn't leave him. When he lost the first tour, I spoke to him and I said, brother, you got to stop smoking. You got to stop drinking because you can't take medication, smoking and drinking and you have sugar. But he didn't listen. Sister Olive spoke to him numerous occasions, still didn't listen. Till the doctor had to take one of the foot. Still doesn't stop him. When he wanted to go about his business, he called a taxi and he crawled on the knees to go about his business. When I look at it and I see the situation, I bought him knee pads so that he can ease the pain off his foot. Still wouldn't help him. But you know what? I stood with him when he lost both legs. Every time that he has to go to the doctor, I drive from Montego Bay, come here with one of my cousins, sometime Buzo, and I have to hug him and lift him around my waist, take him to the car, lift him from the car, take him to the doctor, went back for him, do the same thing over and over. He was supposed to go to the doctor on the 27th. He died the 23rd. The Sunday evening when I drove up, I heard the ambulance coming up the hill. When I stopped at the gate, I noticed they came by. I went inside and I saw him laying down there. I called him, but he didn't respond to me. So when I said to Sister Olive, don't worry, sister. 
He's not going to be the first one. And he's not going to be the last one. Everything is going to be all right. She's sitting right there. I said, don't worry about nothing. So we turn him. Myself and Sister Olive, we turn him. Change his underwear. And get him dressed. I help. When we turn him, he throw a lot of stuff up. And I look at it and I say, Sister Olive, don't worry yourself. And when we lift him and put him on the stretcher, I felt the weight. I know he was going. But I didn't say to Sister Olive, because I'm not a coward. The word of God said, it is appointed unto man once to die. But after the death, there comes judgment. I can say to all my brothers that are still alive, Lincoln, Maki, myself, three brothers, Sister Ritty, Sister Patsy, Sister Leet, didn't make it to come, but I share the love with you all. This life that we are living today, brethren, it's not the best life. And I'm saying this to all my nieces, all my nephews, grandnieces, grandnephews, every single brothers and sisters in the faith of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, make your life right with God. Make your life right with God. The songs we sing, the joy that we have today, may be the last moment. None of us know. This can be the last moment for me. But I'm saying this to you. I don't want to keep your time up. He's gone already. We are here. We have all the opportunity. We have all the chances to do the right thing. And that's why I'm going to leave you, but I can't leave you without singing this little song. It is a peaceful way to do it. There's a lot more I could say, but I don't want to keep your time up, please. But I got to sing this little song. And if we all want to be a part of this, we better make it right. Start doing the right thing. The life that we live doesn't please God. We know ourselves. I'm not afraid to tell you either. Because if I live a sinful life, when I die, I'm going to go straight to hell. Mm -hmm. And if you live a sinful life, when you die, you're going straight to hell. This is not time for us to play Christians or play faithful when we are not. We need to look into our life. Stop thinking about the things which is not of God. Because if I should tell her some of the things about my brother, you wouldn't believe it. But he's gone. He never, if he doesn't repent already, can't repent again. Mr. Music Man, Brother Shippy, Minister, a Deacon or a Bishop, whatever. Thank you very much for your little time. My home is in heaven. Just waiting for me. And when I reach there, oh, happy I'll be. My home is in heaven, no rent to pay. My Jesus paid it, paid it all for me. My home is in heaven, just waiting for me. And when I reach there, oh, happy I'll be. My home is in heaven, no rent to pay. My Jesus paid it, paid it all for me. Hold on, hold on. If your home is in heaven and Jesus paid it for you, I'm saying this to you, brethren. I'm saying this to you, brethren. If you are not yet, make it right with God. This is the moment. Because you will never make it into that home if you don't have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I'd say what? Thank you very much for listening and God bless you all.
I see on the program here open tributes, but I want to close tributes. <laughs> I don't know you wrote that one, but where do you fall? Open? I hope you're closing. Good afternoon. I've lost some good friends along life way. Some loved ones departed in heaven to stay. But thank God I didn't lose everything. I've lost faith in people who said they time of my crisis they were never there but in my disappointment in my season of pain one thing never wavered one thing never changed I never lost my But my Lord has 
spoke of your honor. I felt all alone, but that's when a mercy walks in. I said I stood in to the courtroom that judge turned my way it looked like you're guilty but what do you say my lord I spoke of your honor I fell down but that's when a mercy walks in. Oh, mercy walks in and pleaded my kids. God, to the stand. And cover my sin Forgiven when mercy walks in Oh, I stood there and I wondered Lord, how could this be? Someone so guilty, Lord, I just could not say. But my Lord, I spoke of your honor. I fell up all alone, but that that's when. Blood was presented and covered my sin, forgiven when mercy walks in. Oh, forgiven when mercy. Everybody, the last eh? the, the last time I saw I met, I saw Sport and his wife was standing around Top Hill there. You know what? He go right behind his wife. Did you remember Miss Alil? And it, it it told me that one day he will be gone. <laughs> He go right behind his wife, and I said to myself, what he did, I asked him, what happened? And he said, and he just go behind his wife. <laughs> so I wonder what he was saying to me. But you know what, sport was a good man in welcome. You know, when I had my, my children, them, he always encouraged my children, my child's father to take care of them. He was the first one to took a shirt to my, 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 my first son. Yes, he was the first one to take a shirt to, to me for my son. And, and, and he always encouraged my child's father to take care of them. But sport, you have gone on before, but may your soul rest in peace. <laughs> Yeah.
Yes, certain things you can't miss. <laughs> and for you to get certain things, you have to see it to the end. I want to thank all of you for being so patient, and I, I, I like the way you behave. You just sit, sat there and just pay attention. We thank the musician, late entry, but he did well. I must let you know that every time we come to a funeral service, there's a time when we listen to the word of God. And I believe that the most important thing at a funeral is to listen to God through his manservant speaking to us. It is on us to make a decision after God has spoken what we are going to do with our lives. We are glad for the ministry of Pastor Alden Moat, the pastor of the Opel Circuit of Churches. That include Macquarie and Opel, Woodlands, and Welcome. This afternoon is here with a message. To prepare our hearts for that message that God has given to us, to him. We invite at this time a special group to sing. Then the next voice you'll hear will be of that a Pastor Alden Moat. Thank you. Oh 
eulogy for the late Never Car. There are no goodbye for us. Wherever you are, you will always be in our heart. Never Car, affectionately known as Port, Saliba, Papi, Kari, was born on the 24th of November, 1957, to Eula Lee and Abram Carr in the district of Welcome, Anova. He received his early childhood education, education at the Kakoon Castle All Age School. He further went on to learn a trade at the Blue Daniel Garage and Bus Company, where he eventually gained full-time employment. During his time at, Blue, at the Bus Company, he met and fell in love with his dear wife, Olive. They got married on June 16, 1979, their union produced four children. After leaving the bus company, Never was employed to Mazuka Wholesale and Retail Supermarket, where he spent many, many years. The, the establishment ended in business. As such, he had to seek employment elsewhere. Never went into business of transportation, where he was employed as a driver within the Juta Tour and Transfer Company. He spent quite a number of years in this role. As the year progressed, he became ill and was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, among other complications. His health deteriorated, which saw him losing both legs, which confined him to a wheelchair and limit his mobility. On June 23rd, 2024, he fell ill and was rushed to the hospital where he was admitted. He made a final transition as he had decided that it's time to go home. He passed away, leaving to mourn his beloved wife, Halif Carr, son, Oliver, Oliver Carr, daughter, Aralette, one stepson, daughter-in-laws, sister, Patsy, Ritty, Lilith, brother, Lincoln, Carl, and Mackie three sister-in-law, 13 grandchildren, three great-grandchildren, nieces, nephews, church family, a host of other relatives and friends. Rest in peace, my brother. Rest in peace until we meet again. God be with you. Olive, as I stand here today, I want to say a big, big, Thanks to you for taking care of my brother for all these years you have been there. And I thank you and I appreciate you and I will forever will. Good afternoon, God's children. Today, we gathered here to mourn the death of Brother Carr. We know that death is not an easy road for those who are alive, the relatives that are alive. But I want to say to you, that Jesus promised us that he will never leave us nor forsake us. 
He promised us that when we go through the storms of life, he is going to be there with us. So I say to you as you mourn the death, and as a church as we mourn, we mourn with the reality and the consciousness that death is not the final for those who lived in Christ. A better day is coming when death shall be no more. The Bible says that we are going to live with him forever and ever. So I say to the bereaved, your brother, your cousin is not in heaven as yet. But, he, but if he is faithful on the resurrection morning, when the trumpet shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise, we are going to meet on the sea of glass. So I say to you, continue to believe. I want to use a very strange scripture to deliver our message for today. It is Roman, Roman 6. And I'm here to talk about two death, two resurrection. Two death, two resurrection. And let us pray. Eternal Heavenly Father, your children are gathered here because they need to hear from you. I recognize that the power is not in me. The power is in you to speak to your people. Father, bring somebody today to the consciousness that they can't live as they are living. They must make a U-turn. So we ask you now to speak in Jesus' name. Amen. amen and amen. This morning, I decided to make a call to a friend of mine. She was one of our Bible workers. And while she was going away, she said, Pastor, my mother, not biological mother, but spiritual mother, she's on the brink of death. And I need to go. I need to see her because she sent a message to me to say that I must come quickly because she needs to talk to me. And so this morning my mind reflected on that conversation and I decided that I will give her a call to see how they are doing. And I called her and we were just talking. But that woman, that mother, who had cancer, who is emerging on the brink of dying, said to me, Pastor, I am ready. I know that death is near, but I'm ready for any time the Lord say, Come and rest. I am ready to rest with the Lord. And she was talking, listen to me. She was talking and she was encouraging me to be faithful. <laughs> she was saying to pastor, you know, pastor, listen to me, pastor. Be faithful to your God. Because she listen, this land is not our home. We are just pilgrim yes. passing through this place. Oh, yes. I know that death would come. 
And I am prepared for it, pastor. But you be faithful to resurrection, to death. Turn your Bibles with me to Romans. Romans 6 verse 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may be abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer? Know he not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into his death. That, that like as Christ was raised a race up from the dead by his glory of the Father. Even so, we also shall walk in newness of life. But listen what Paul says. Shall we continue in sin? Hello? Shall we continue in sin and declare that grace be upon us. And he says, God forbid. You see, we are playing with sin. But sin is deadly. Can I talk to the church? You see, sin may look sweet. Hello? Sin may look nice and, and feel nice. But when sin finishes with you, you are going to die eternally. So today, when you talk, invite somebody to come to church. There's a pastor, I mean, I have no clothes. But son, first. Confess the keep. And let me tell you, you have to pay to go in confess. And you have to find clothes to go in confess. And yet you are going to confess. Can I say to you today that before you go to the grave, you must be, listen man, you must put sin to death. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Before you go to the grave, you must die. Pastor, what are you talking about? <laughs> listen to what the Bible says. I am dead in baptism. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. You see, as I say that we take baptism lightly, but baptism symbolizes something. Can I say to the church? You see, when you come to a knowledge that we, are, we have sinned against God, when we come to the knowledge that we have transgressed his commandments, when we come to the knowledge that we are going against his law and realize that we must turn, We must turn to him. But we can't just say, hey, we are going to turn. Paul is saying to us. Paul is saying to us that we must be baptized into his death. I know that this is a funeral service, but I know that. But I'm talking about death. Paul says that we must baptize into his death. Why? You see, if I love my wife, 
And I could just pick up my wife and say, my wife, you're my, you're my wife. But that, that not say nothing. Not say nothing. A many person have woman out there and say, hey, are you are my girl. But I, you see, a wife is different from a girl. Hello? A wife is different from a sweetheart. When you decide, when I decided to get married, I want to go before God. Hello, listen, man. And I want to say, you are the only woman that I am going to be with. So I am going to marry you before God and man. Because I love her. No, if you love Christ, hello, listen to me. If you love Christ, Christ is saying to us that we must display it. We must be buried with him in baptism. Am I talking to the church? Put it this way, when you go and when you go into the water, you are symbolizing that you are bearing your own man of sin. I'm getting somewhere. But when you bury that old man, you don't stay under the water. The Bible says when you get up out of the water, you are coming up in the newness of life. So, tell me now. Reason with me. If you can get the opportunity to be baptized and you say you're not going to be baptized, you believe that you can be saved? Listen to me. Am I talking to the church? You see, some of us, we, we, we play with, with our salvation. I, you, know, you know, pastor, I don't have to be baptized, you know. You know, it, I, I cannot sleep like that and it's okay. Don't fool yourself. Don't fool yourself. Am I talking to the church? The thief, if the thief had the opportunity to be baptized, he would be baptized. When Paul heard the gospel, the Bible says that when he understood the gospel, immediately he was baptized. Get in somewhere. So when you baptize, you know what they're telling the world says? I am covered with Jesus. <laughs> I am walking with Jesus. And I am, I am in a relationship with Jesus. I'm a, listen to me, church. But the scripture, listen what the Bible says. The scripture, the scripture is so sweet. If you, so therefore, you, know, you have to experience uh, this death and resurrection. You have to experience uh, this death and resurrection through baptism. Because what you're saying, that the old man, that the old man of sin must put to death. And now let me tell, let me tell you something. Let me be honest with you. I cannot walk right by myself. I cannot do good by myself. Paul put it this way, that when I try to do good, can I say to you, evil, present themselves, listen to me, I want to do it, but there is something within me that is holding me back, but he said, listen to me, that thanks be to God that he killed the old man and he rise up. So there is no condemnation. In those who accept Jesus Christ. So look where I'm going now. Paul argued the point. Because Jesus died. Hello, listen, but we are coming. Because Jesus died. And Jesus conquered death. Therefore, if you are coming to Jesus, you must die with him in baptism so that you can have life and renew enough life so therefore let us go now to the bottom part if you are resurrected with him can I say to you you know what you're saying you have life so when death comes physically now hello listen to me 
when death come physically because death is coming listen to me church hello listen to me can I say to you that today you may be here and, and you may be strong but today you can die I remember I heard a story about a man who left a funeral service and drove out the car crashed and about three of them died just like that coming from a funeral service and did not reach home am I talking to the church did not reach home so when death comes because you accept Jesus because you buried the old man listen to me church and, and you are now raised from the from the old man of sin and, that hold you down now you are walking with Jesus but Mr. Dead comes and say I'm going to snatch you <laughs> elder but you are already resurrected in baptism <laughs> Do you get the point? You already resurrected in baptism. You have already accepted life in Jesus Christ. So when you die, you are just sleeping. Hello, listen to the church. Listen, brother. When the saints die, because you accept Jesus Christ, because you are buried with him, because you are walking with him, can I tell the church, you can face death with a smile. You know, this week my wife and I we were talking. And we were, we were talking, and my wife said, Listen, we went, yeah, last night we went to do visit our sister. We lost our sister, and we were sharing. And my wife says, Listen, I don't know when death is coming for me. I don't know if they're going to burn my body. I don't know, I don't know what is going to happen to me. But the only thing that I want to know that I die in dread, Jesus Christ. The only thing that really matters if I die in Christ. That's what matters. So let me say to you, um, can I tell you, you, you know, you know the people are fool. Forgive me. People are foolish. And you say, Pastor, why are you calling people foolish? You know what? Death is upon the door. You know, death will take all of us. And we have the solution for death. We have the solution. God made a way for us uh, to have eternal life. God is saying that, listen, if you accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior, if you are buried with him, if you walk with him, uh, you are going to have eternal life. And people are continue to live in sin and do not want to come to Jesus. Foolish. Fools. I remember when I talked to a man, he was about 90 hard, and I said to surrender to Jesus. He looked at me and said, Pastor, I'm not ready yet. Some or 50 and you talk to them and they say hey pastor I'm not ready yet some are 30 and they say come to Jesus pastor I'm not ready yet but let me let me say to you you see when Mr. Dead come the same way you go down at the same way you come up if you come if you don't accept Jesus Christ you are going down as a sinner you are going into the grave as a sinner. No money can pay to get you to be on the safe side. No gift can be given to you to answer Jesus. Nothing like that. When you go into that grave, when the pastor says, Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. It done. It done. The 
So you can be, you can continue to fool yourself. Believing that you are working for money, you're work, you know, working for things and a lot. And let me tell you, you're not carrying anything to you in the grave. You're not carrying anything. Can I, can I say to you, some of you are love boyfriend and, and you love boyfriend and, and girlfriend. I say, I can't accept Jesus Christ now. But you're not carrying boyfriend. You're not carrying girlfriend. And my mother used to say, every tub. <laughs> every tub. So when Mr. Dead come and you are buried with Christ, you are resurrected, listen man, with him. Listen man. you are walking with him. When Mr. Dead comes and you are dead, put it this way, you are already dead with Christ. <laughs> you are already dead with him. But on that resurrection morning, when Jesus shall appear, you know that he's going to say to the angels, listen man, I have uh, some saints, uh, listen man, and, uh, they are buried and they are resurrected in me, listen man, uh, I want you um, uh, to go to their graves, uh, listen man, uh, and I want you to do something, um, uh, you are going to call them uh, by their name, um, uh, and when they hear their name, uh, hallelujah, praise the Lord, uh, they are going to get up. They are going, the Bible says, the day in Christ shall rise first in the first resurrection morning. Listen to me, church. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. On that resurrection morning, the day in Christ shall rise first where will the wicked be where will the wicked be hear the scripture revelation 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 20 listen to this Listen to the scripture. Listen to the scripture. As the Bible tells us, I saw, not the righteous, the dead. Listen, Revelation 20, verse 12. I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God listen what the Bible says and the books were open church 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 okay, let me say to you everything that you do God is taking record of it let me say to you Every sin that you commit, there is a record. Yes. Listen to what the Bible says. The books were open. Another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of these things which were written in the books according to their what? To their works. I tell you about grace. Some of you are wasting grace. God died to save you but you don't want it. But God said that I'm going to judge you. And continue. And the sea, listen to me, gave up the dead. Hello? So even if they throw you in the sea, 
the Bible says you are coming up again. Am I talking to you? The sea gave up the dead which were in it. And the dead have now death and hell deliver up the dead which were in them. Put it this way. The grave gave, gave up the dead. So when they bury you and you think that it's going to be okay, you're going to come back again. You're going to come back again. Listen to me, church. Which were in them, they will judge everyone according to it. And the dead and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Put it this way. God is going to destroy the sinner forever. The sinner shall not live forever and ever on this earth. God says that his word says, I'm going to destroy it. I'm going to destroy them. I'm going to destroy them. So that's why, that's why you know, God says, I put before you life. And yes, choose life and live. But you have the opportunity to choose death and die. Choose this day who you are going to serve. Can I say to you, listen what the Bible says. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake fire which side will you be on today we gathered at this funeral service but I'm cognizant of the fact that tomorrow it, can, it will be my funeral service church I'm cognizant of the fact that today my brother is going to the grave we're going to bury but tomorrow will be mine let me tell you something I am preparing for it church I am preparing for it I am preparing for death because I know that if I live long enough I must die so I must prepare for it and the only way you can prepare for it unless you are buried with Christ <laughs> listen to me Unless you are buried with Christ and you are resurrected with him, listen to me, and you are walking with him, that's the only way you can be prepared. And so I'm, I want to ask you today, are you ready to meet your maker? Are you ready to meet your maker? Church, are you ready Are you ready to look in his wonderful face? Are you ready to say, this is my God, Jesus Christ, who have long been waited for? Are you ready? Are you ready? Today, at this funeral service, I say to you, choose Christ and live. Choose Christ and live. But if you decide not to, then you must die. Certainly want to thank the pastor for that message. This time, I invite the congregation to stand while we invite Bishop Bishop and Gillis, very familiar man seated. Invite Bishop Gillis to come and pray a special prayer on their behalf. Very familiar man seated. The rest of the congregation, please stand. We all bow our heads. Eternal God and our Father, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Israel deliverer. Lord, I present 
the bereaved family before you this afternoon. Lord, they might be going through the valley, but your word declares that you are a lily in the valley. Lord, they might be lonely, but Lord, you declares in your word that you are a present time, a present help in the time of trouble. I pray, mighty God, that you may wrap them up in your glory. I pray you may hold their hands. God, I pray you will, you will remind them, mighty God, that you are the God of yesterday, today, and forever. I pray you, may, you will remind them, Lord, that you are a bridge over troubled water. I pray, God, that you may bind them with a cord that cannot be broken. Those in the family that have not yet known you as Lord, I pray you may breathe upon them a fresh wind that they can absorb the fresh wind and come to know you as Lord of their lives. Bless them as never before. Lead them in the path of righteousness. Remind them that death is a reality and one day they too will be going down. Remind them, mighty God, to give their lives to you before the time of too late. I declare a blessing upon their life right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you. There's a recessional hymn at the back of your program. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more. We're going to bring the first stanza and the chorus. Then we on the platform will move. All right. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more. And then... When the Savior verse shall gather on, or on the and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called Bright and cloudless morning, bright and cloudless morning, when the dead in Christ shall rise, and the glory of his resurrection share, when his chosen one shall get it to their home, beyond the skies and the roll, when the roll, when the roll is gone up yonder. From the dawn till setting sun, let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. Then, when all of life is over and our work on earth is done, and the roll is gone, yonder I'll be there. Is call up yonder when the roll is call up yonder when the roll is call up yonder I'll be there. Bright city, I'm 
Alright, let us sing. Let us Let's sing the song, song that, that will cheer us by the way. way. In a little while we are going home. For the night will end in the everlasting day. In a little while we are going home. In a little while. In a little while. We shall cross the billows form. We shall be the last when the stormy winds are past. In a little while we're going home. Alright? Alright, um, let us pray. Let us have it together, please. Oh my Never? God. Alright? Yeah. yeah. Um, let us pray. Eternal Heavenly Father, we truly want to give you thanks that even in the midst of death, we can give you thanks that you are still the God of life. We ask you now that you be with the bereaved family. May you bless them. And Father, we look towards the day when those who die in the Lord shall, shall be resurrected to live with you forever. Bless us all, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Ready? The Lord in his wonderful kindness to have seen it fit to allow our brother brother never car to lay down the residue of this life therefore as minister of the gospel I now co lovingly commit his body to the ground declaring ashes to ashes, to ashes dust to dust uh, earth to earth recognizing that those who live for Christ and that glorious morning when the trump shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise. The Bible says that they are going to hear his voice and they are going to come forth. They are going to live with him forever and ever and ever. Amen and amen. We will do... Um, Rockman, Rockman, get Rockman. busy. Rockman. Yes. Get busy, get busy, get busy. Sing the song, man. In a little while, in a little while, we shall cross the billows form. We shall meet at last when the stormy winds are past. In a little while, we're going home. We will smooth and work for some way we were working. In a little while, we're going home. And my love in us spread around and in from sweet. In a little while, we're going in a little while, in a little while, we shall cross the billows form. We shall meet at last when the stormy winds are past. In a little while, we're going. Here's a rest beyond. Here's a rest beyond. There we leave from every care. In a little while, we're going. Wondrous love of Jesus, sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansion bright and blessed, he prepared for us a place when we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that we will be.
shall have a new name in that land. In that land, that sunny, sunny land. You shall have a new name in that land. In that sunny land. Let us, let us pray. Let us pray. Eternal Heavenly Father, we truly want to give you thanks for this funeral service. We ask you to know that even as we depart, we ask for you to watch around and about us. Help us to have a wonderful day, but help us to live for you. I present the bereaved family once more. Bless them now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Amen.